We're covering all things indoors, outdoors, behind the scenes, which is kind of what we did today. Well, I didn't get a chance to. Brandon and Sabrina did. Brandon is outside the campgrounds now. Good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. We are live out here at the campgrounds, which is kind of behind the fairgrounds almost. It's up on a big hill on the backside. And we do this every year. This is one of my favorite days because we go around. There are hundreds of campers out here. And of course, dozens and dozens and dozens of families and neighbors and people, they all get together and they have a really great time. Some of them don't even go to the fair. They just camp out here each and every year. So this morning, Sabrina and I, had the pleasure of waking up two families and all of their neighbors, an early morning wake up call. They made some breakfast. We tried out a lot of stuff and we had a really great time. Take a look. Far and whole. Lori Greif joins us now and she is um, the matriarch of the camping family. First of all, thank you for being up with us. They always make breakfast every morning. 8, 8.30 we usually get up and we cook breakfast and as the trolleys go by, everybody's like, Hey, I'll be right back. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. This is a tradition that is um, that is for generations now. As the generations have went older, you know, it's times change, but traditions remain is what we say. I so. love that. I'm going to go <laughs> lather this thing up with some of the peanut butter and syrup. I've never actually had that combination before. <laughs> Ashley's cheering in the background because that's her. I'm going to do the powdered sugar so it kind of tastes like a funnel cake. There you go. We have moved campgrounds, and we are joined now by Tracy Balo. So we'll do some bacon first. We'll let this heat up. Uh, Who are you with today? Well, these are just the neighbors that I feed, you know, once in a while. Uh, I'll be quite honest with you. I've never seen, you said the eggs went into the bacon. What? Oh, yeah. I've never seen it done like that. Oh, that's Oh, nice. man. How's that? Give me a fork. Oh, wow. <laughs> Tracy, I hope you I aren't planning on us leaving anytime soon because yeah. we're moving in for the rest of the stay there. <laughs> so not only did we have breakfast and learn so much about these campers and these families and their neighbors, but what I find so interesting about the campground here at the Iowa State Fair is how competitive it is to actually get a spot. People wait years and years to get these spots. They may have had family members that had a spot out here at the campgrounds and then they get passed down for generations and generations. One of the people you saw there in our story actually uh, had a family member that was at the campgrounds almost 60 years ago and has been coming here every single year ever since. So it's very, very cool. Definitely a unique part of the Iowa State Fair, and we certainly had a really amazing time covering that for you. For now, we're live here at the Iowa State Fair. Brandon Lawrence, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. It was very affordable, I hear.